Jonas Vingego, the hill climbing prodigy who went from fish market to TDF podium. Early life. Jonas Vingego was born 10 December 1996 in Hillerslev, Denmark. As a child Jonas's first love of sport came in the form of football, his father said. He was actually playing football in the beginning but he was very small. It was taking him to the tour of Denmark, it started in the town we lived in, I took him there and that was the beginning of it, slowly getting into it. But he loved cycling from the beginning, his mother says. Very slow, was the realization that Jonas wanted to turn pro. He had a tough time in the beginning, very tough, but he had the perseverance to go on. His first job was in a fish auction. Michael Valgren coincidentally had Jonas's job before he turned pro. It was the same, fish auction, same job, Valgren tells Cycling Weekly. I used to work there from 6 to 11 in the morning and Jonas did more or less the same thing, but then he got another job with a friend of mine, also in the fishing industry. Cycling career begins. Jonas made an impact from the very beginning, excelling in a test organized by his local club. Weeks later he rode to a podium position in a race. Although it was clear that the terrain in Denmark wasn't exactly suited to his lightweight build. Only on arrival in more hilly regions highlighted his strengths as a climber. I discovered my first climb when I was 16 in Italy. After that I realized I wasn't bad at all, he said. Signs with Danish UCI continental team Colloquick in May 2016. In his first year with the team he finished second in the Tour of China. Other notable achievements include a win at the 2018 54th Giro Cyclistico de la Val d'Auster Mont Blanc. And a first place in a TT at the 55th Tour de Lavigny. Climbing abilities noticed by Jumbo Visma. Jumbo Visma sport director Grisha Neumann is close friends with one of the DSs at Vingego's development team, who told the World Tour sport director to keep an eye on the climbing prodigy. We saw some data points, and though he didn't have a lot of results, we could see there was a big margin to gain, Neumann told Velo News. He has already taken some big steps. One of those data points was during a team training camp in March of 2018. Jonas was noticed by Jumbo Visma after posting the third fastest time, at the time, on the Col de Rats climb, in the hills just northwest of Calp, in Spain. His power to weight in an eye-watering 6.59 watts per kilo for 14 minutes. Signs for Jumbo in 2019. In 2019 Jonas achieved his first UCI World Tour win on stage 6 of the Tour de Pologne. He was second in GC at the Tour of Denmark and second overall in the youth classification at the Deutschland Tour. In 2020 he completed the La Vuelta as a domestic for race winner Primoz Roglic. In his first race of 2021 Vingego won stage 5 of the UAE Tour, then took the win on two stages and the overall in the Settimana Internazionale Coppi e Bartali. In April Jonas took second at the Tour of the Basque Country ahead of today Pogica. Incredible TDF debut. Vingego went to the tour as a domestic for Primoz Roglic. After his withdrawal from injury, Vingego became the team's only general classification contender. He finished second on two summit finishes behind eventual winner today Pogica, and came third on both of the time trials to second place overall, becoming the second Danish rider to achieve a podium finish in the Tour de France and the first since 1996. Obviously, I knew I was in good shape, and the team also knew. We talked about it and they said before that I had the numbers in training to finish on the podium, Vingego explained. He was racing in only his second Grand Tour. One thing is training and another thing is racing. I was in good shape, but I never imagined getting second in my first Tour de France, so that was incredible for me, of course. Jonas race smarts, hill climbing ability, cool under pressure. He knows how to judge his energy levels, it's one of his strong points, Vingego's sports director Grisha Neumann told AFP. He has shown that he can play a crucial role in high mountains, Neumann said. He has a good TT, and because he is good climber and quite explosive, there are plenty of years of ahead of him to get better. He handles the pressure quite well. It's a fine line. Hill climbing prowess. Jonas's most notable hill climbing achievements include, in stage 5 of the UAE tour finishing first at the summit of the 20 km Jebel Jais climb. Ahead of today Pogaka. The 2021 Tour de France, posting a time on the 15.9 km Mont Ventoux, one of the fastest ever recorded on the climb, clocking 48 minutes 24 seconds, gapping the race winner today Pogaka, again demonstrating his advantage over the Slovenian on longer climbs.
Ngego has also ridden 6.10 watts per kilo for 35 minutes and 55 seconds on the Col du Granin in this year's tour, breaking your Zimmerman and Greg LeMond's record by 5 minutes and 20 seconds. Could Jonas's climbing abilities be enough to topple today at the tour? Have your say in the comments. Please like and subscribe.